new video. My name is Abby and today I'm joined by Luke. Hey guys. And Charlotte. Today we're going to be speaking about what it is like to be religious at university. I think the best way for us to start off the video is just by introducing ourselves. So, I'm Abby and I'm a second year historian. I'm actually not in the Christian Union. I don't practice a religion at university. But I have a lot of friends who do. I'm Luke. Um, I'm a second year doing criminology. I'm a Christian. No way! And I'm <laughs> the head of Mary's CU in college. Hey, I'm Charlotte. I'm a second year geographer. And I'm a Christian at Mary's college too. So the way this video is going to work, guys, is I'm just going to be asking Charlotte and Luke a few questions just about their own personal experience of having a faith at university. The first question that I thought I would ask is, how has actually having such a strong faith had a direct impact upon your university experience? Yeah, it's, it's made me think a lot about my faith. You get a lot of people who are really, really curious about it and be like, oh, Christianity, what's all that about? What's this bloke Jesus, who's him? You know, they come with a lot of questions and actually when they ask you, it's really challenged me to have an answer. I um, had some really good discussions with loads of friends and actually been like... It's like reaffirmed it. Yeah, it's really reaffirmed it. Being yeah. at uni, has really helped me to grow my faith, really mm. has. Um, so yeah, oh, it's been really nice. good. Yeah. I'm really pleased for you. Thank you. What about you? Yeah, I probably agree too. Like, university is a place to find yourself mm. and find out who you really are as a person without mm. the influence of, say, like parents or siblings. Mm. And obviously coming from Northern Ireland, it was a big step for me to even come to England. For, for Luke and I, like, mm. it is definitely, this is our purpose, this is our life. Yeah. Um, and we want other people to have that too. Um, so question number two <coughs> is, were either of you apprehensive about coming into a university culture which predominantly isn't religion focused? Obviously with like drinking culture or mm. like a culture where like casual sex is very yeah, much yeah. present. Like were you worried about having like such a strong faith? No. Being challenged like in an environment where other people might not agree with you. Was that yeah, something yeah. That you were worried about? I'll speak yeah. about Christian perspective first and then um, general... Oh, your ankle's really hairy. Uh, is it? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not, by the way, not mine. Yeah, yeah, my ankles. Yes. I shouldn't have been apprehensive, I think, for two reasons. Um, one, because actually a lot of people are very open at university. A lot of people come and sort of the phrase is like this marketplace of ideas where everyone's trying to figure out mm -hmm. um, different things. Um, In terms of the culture, the culture is very, very different to what... Christianity endorses. Yeah, what's, but... Uh, it's been a real learning curve for me actually. Jesus was very clear in the Bible. He says actually don't judge people. Um, that's not my place to judge people. When you are going into certain situations, whether that be playing um, university sport, um, playing university music, university drama, mm. or even college level stuff. Yeah, definitely. That you're just honest with people from the start. I, I won't be getting drunk on these nights mm. out and I won't be doing this. People are really, really respectful. Yeah. I've played, I play university sport and music. And, and you do like a lot of modeling as well. And all the girls and guys have always been so respectful mm. and so loving. If you are apprehensive, leaning on your faith in that sense and knowing mm. that God's already gone before you, um, yeah, I think definitely. that's something that I rely on. I don't have to be afraid of anything because he's already done it all. Um, keep looking to your kind of higher purpose um, of this life. Just because we talk about our faith doesn't mean that someone else can't talk about their faith to us or what no, they don't believe in. Definitely like, not. We're yeah. definitely not. We're so open to just discussing these things. I would because... also say, just from like my point of yeah, view, yeah. not being within a faith group. If you are coming to uni and you're not part of a religious group don't have like any preconceived ideas about mm. people that are religious because mm. before coming to university i probably wouldn't have imagined that i would be very close friends with people that <laughs> no just yeah. because because you do have very different values and you're not yeah, you don't no. like go clubbing and like go drinking i probably would have thought that because we wouldn't have had that sort of yeah. foundation of commonality that if you are coming to university mm. just come with a completely open mind have no preconceived ideas about what anybody yeah. is going to be like people that have either completely different religious views to you completely different political views to you absolutely be tolerant of everybody and almost like be open to anybody that's got a different view from you yeah. because you never know you might actually learn a hell of a lot from it and then that's so important like take yeah. on that view you never know like, question number three is maybe for people that aren't aren't religious yeah, yeah. those who are just very like curious would you say there's opportunity to like grow your faith at uni definitely De definitely let's say you you've got a, a mate who says oh i'm a christian um honestly talk to them about it whenever you want you could ring them up at midnight and they'd, <laughs> they'd be really happy to talk to you to, to you about it so we do club mission where we go out and we just give drinks and sweets to people in, in the Hot queues drinks. for clubs. Yeah, hot drinks. Hot drinks. <laughs> hot drinks. 
Uh, not alcoholic. <laughs> and got... sometimes on your way back from a club, they have a little stand outside the church. They're giving out like biscuits and hot chocolate. Oh yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah, it's yeah. Nice. It's like little cups of tea or hot chocolate. So if you see any of those people around, honestly, ask them questions. They'd love to hear from you. So my final question, guys, because this video has gone on for quite a long time. Oh my days, 33 minutes. You're going to have to, I'm gonna have to cut that down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my final question for these two be your like, one main tip coming to university, mm. either with a faith or even without a faith. Whether you're a Christian or you're not a Christian, is to really search mm. for your purpose on an independent scale because um, you have that opportunity now. Like university is gonna be the best three or four years or seven years if you're doing medicine. <laughs> I, knew you were gonna say crazy. I knew it's, you were gonna say that. It's gonna be the best like years of your life. What I would really urge you guys to do is to search for your purpose in this life. Come find me if you're coming to Durham, Charlotte Fraser. She's six foot, so you'll probably I'm see. not six foot. I'm six foot. Five nine? Oh, please. I'm not six. six foot. I'm not six. I'm five foot seven. You're a hell of a lot taller I'm than me. I'm five seven. Yeah. Wow. I don't look at it in this video. I look very small. You might be five nine with those shoes on. So you've got. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, exactly. Abby's Abby's got these shoes. With, Should we show them? With yeah, with the platforms that. Are off. Yes. We're going to use these shoes as an analogy. Look, look at that. Look at those. We're going to use these as an analogy for what I'm about to say, guys. So my point of advice from a non-religious perspective would honestly be. Be true to yourself. Do not do anything <laughs> that you don't issues. want to do just because other people are doing it. If your friends are joining a club that you don't want to be part of and you want to do something else, do that. You will find your friends when you're meant to meet them. Mm. You will find people that you are meant to meet when you will meet them. In that way as well, you'll be able to find yourself if you're true to yourself, I think. A lot of people don't like these shoes. I really but I wear them anyway. They're I really cool. like them, they're really cool. Be open to that, be open mm. to change as well. If you made it to the end of the video, big congrats, it's been a long one. That it's is going to be the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you very much to Luke no, and thank you, Charlotte Abby. for taking part. Thank um, you very I'm sure much they'll be back no, soon. Um, and so as always, if you are currently applying for uni or you're getting some of your history, good, um, luck. good luck with that. And we will see you in our next video. Bye. See ya. Bye.